Okay, so we're going to talk about relative clauses now. Now, relative clauses are a type of subordinate clause and they give you more information about the noun in your sentence. So you drop them into a, a, an independent clause or a sentence. So up here I've got um, Mrs. M Mrs M frantically scraped the ice from her car. And I want to add in a little bit more information about my, my person, my noun here, my, um, myself. Um, so I want to add something else in about that. So I'm going to do it in red for you so you can see it really clearly. So Mrs M, when you're doing a relative clause, you always put them between two commas. So Mrs M, comma, and I'm going to use a relative pronoun, which is this here, is who. Mrs M, who, we're going to say, was running late again. And then that is my relative clause. I'm going to put a comma at the end. And then the rest of my sentence will just tag onto the end of that. So Mrs M, who was running late again, frantically scraped the ice from her car, full stop. OK, so you can see now that we've just dropped that relative clause in there. It's a relative clause because it's got a relative pronoun. It relates to the person who I'm talking about or the thing that I'm talking about. That's the relate part of relative clause. Um, so Mrs M, always between um, two commas, but you can also use other forms of parentheses in here as well. So if you wanted to, you could put this in some brackets or you could put it in some dashes. So relative clauses link really nicely to parentheses. And if you want a quick reminder on that, then have a look at the previous video on parentheses. So looking at the one down the bottom, we'll have a quick look at this one, see what we can do with it. Stalking its prey, comma, the dragon roared with all its might. So I want to give you some more information about the dragon. I want to give more information about this guy here. Let's see what we can drop in. So we could have stalking its prey, the dragon, comma, and I'm going to use the relative pronoun of whose. And I think we'll talk about his breath, I think, whose breath smelled like, oh, let's make it gruesome, rotting flesh. Yeah, I like that, it's gruesome. Comma, roared with all its might. Okay, so let's just check it out, make sure we're happy with it. So stalking its prey, comma, the dragon, comma, whose breath smelled like rotting flesh, comma, roared with all its might. Super, we've really up-leveled our sentence. We've given it a whole new meaning. Just going to underline this, that's our relative pronoun again, so you can see that quite clearly. We're talking about the who's relates to the dragon, which is our noun in the subject, in the um, sentence. Okay, so have a go at that at home, see how you get on. Look forward to seeing the results.